Oh my goodness, it has been so long since I have uploaded a video or vlogged or anything like that. So hi, hello, welcome back. Hope the vlogs are back. Um, so I had a whole video filmed and it was like process of us moving and kind of like just little life updates um, here and there and the files got corrupted so I can't use them anymore so unfortunately there's a whole video that's just like gone forever but I figured I would start a new vlog today so today is Saturday I just washed my hair which is why it looks like this um baby is still sleeping which is great um I feel like there's so many changes and updates to talk about that I'll probably share in this video but right now I'm just having my coffee and the creamer we use is so good I'll show you which one it's this pistachio latte very good I love anything pistachio so we're in the new house it's kind of wild that we're here we've been here for over two weeks now and it's really starting to feel like home it already feels a million times better than our old house did so that is a relief we've mostly finished moving in and everything there's definitely some like stuff in the garage that we need to kind of go through and there's a good bit of stuff that i want to just donate so we're kind of working through that but lots and lots of work has been done and it's looking really nice in here i'm really excited but yeah it feels really good to be making a video it's gonna be a beautiful weekend today's saturday if i hadn't already mentioned that and i actually will go ahead and give you guys a little update i'm back at club pilates so since we live closer and it, it was just so good for me when i was doing pilates i signed back up again and i have a pilates class this morning in about two and a half hours yeah so it's 8 30 now my class is at 11. so andy is gonna go to the gym and i'll watch lila and then while I'm at Pilates, he'll be watching her. And then after I get back, we might go to the farmer's market or something. She's never been, and it's like gonna be the most beautiful like spring day outside today. So that would be really fun. And yeah, I think tonight I'm gonna make tacos. So maybe I'll film some of that as well. But I honestly feel like such a newbie with vlogging now because I feel like I'm out of the newborn funk and I feel like I have a little bit more time for myself, which is just like, you kind of never think it's gonna happen when you're in the thick of it, you know? So I'm feeling good and yeah, let's hope it lasts because sometimes I start feeling really good and then I kind of go back into a little depression. That's just kind of how postpartum depression and hormones and everything are for a little while. But oh, anyway, it feels really good to be talking to you guys again and i am gonna enjoy my coffee enjoy a little bit more time before lila gets up and then we'll just see where the day takes us one thing i'm trying to do is like keep things looking as cute as they can but also be functional so i want to put something in this little box that goes in the bathroom um i'm just gonna use put some like feminine products in here and put in the bathroom because it looks a lot cuter than this big obnoxious thing so let's see if all this will fit in here i always end up walking into the wrong door because we have the bathroom hall closet pantry garage all lined up so i almost walked into the hall closet i'm just gonna put this down here that looks so much more aesthetic but it's our little guest bathroom i don't know if i'll do like a house tour at some point but we're definitely not at that point yet but the guest bathroom looks pretty decent the reality of the living room is that i have let's snuggle me up here i have Piano, the bouncy seat, pacifiers everywhere. And then she has this whole little area over here to play. So we just have like some for toys and the boppy and then the love every play gym. 
which she's been really enjoying lately as she's getting a little bit older. So yeah, we must have just all the baby items in here. And that is A-OK. -okay. I do have one area that I think looks pretty cute so far. So our little entryway area, minus that is not great, but, and minus Annie's shoes right there, but I think this looks pretty cute. So I've got our little entryway table looking nice. And I'm so excited to have some of our little newborn photo shoot pictures and then our maternity pictures down here. And then I love my gold mirrors. I need to figure out where I want to put the other one because if you guys have been here a while, you know that I have two that are similar. This one is definitely like the nicer one, um, but I love it. And I just think it goes perfectly with this like vintage table. And yeah, I'm very happy with that. I want to put something, I don't know. I think I definitely need like something else over here. Like maybe some hooks or something to go there or something. And then I have this picture that I DIY'd in another video. And I like that there. We have our like, dining kind of area over here that we're not really using but it does look pretty nice. Um, I definitely need to put something on the wall over there. I was thinking maybe of doing the other mirror there. It might make sense. It might make it look a little bigger. So we'll see. I did buy like some hooks and things to hang some more stuff and all that jazz. So I kind of want to show you guys part of the living room that looks really cute too. Minus the diaper bag and the baby everything. But this little table if you guys remember from previous videos i've styled it many times but this might be my favorite um i just think it looks so so cute and then if i can get over here past the car seat i also put up like a little gallery wall over here of these four newborn pictures the sun is so bright but yeah so i just have these here and i love how it looks behind the couch i just think it's perfect so I said I wasn't gonna do a little walkthrough yet, but then I ended up doing a little walkthrough and you know, it is what it is. I'm excited, so it feels good to be excited. One thing that's been really hard is like having breakfast in the morning. When we were living with my parents, I got so used to my dad, he makes breakfast every morning, it's so nice. Now I'm like, what do I do? So. I need to figure out probably something healthy that I can like literally microwave. Um, so maybe there's like a healthier breakfast sandwich or something that I can buy just to be able to have something in the morning with like some protein. Um, Cause I'm used to having like sausage and eggs and all of that in the morning. And my Greek yogurt bowls, they're just not sounding too good these days. So I've had it twice, but it's just not really hitting the spot like it once was. So maybe I'll get back there. The most annoying part of this house, really the only annoying thing, and we're fixing it, is that we don't have a fence yet. So like we have to take the dogs out every time they need to go outside, um, which is just a lot of work when you have a baby. And sometimes I'm outside with them in the backyard really quick and I've she's in here on our play mat or whatever and she'll be like screaming and I'm like, hurry up. A guy did come yesterday to measure our yard for a fence. So I really hope in the next few weeks we'll have one. I don't know how long their like wait list is, but hopefully it's not long. I need to check my email to see if he said anything yet. Another thing we're waiting on is getting blinds. So I think the blinds are supposed to come in today. Let me see if it still says that. Yes, out for delivery. Is she still sleeping? She's close to waking up. Yeah, I'm sure she is. She likes to wake up at nine. It's 8.47. I'm vlogging. Hello. Ooh. Did you sleep okay? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm waking up at 4. Well, four. well, she got, you had to get up at 4.30, right? I appreciate you taking that early shift. 
You guys, I'm gonna finally work on my bicycle that my wife's been throwing away, trying to throw away for three moves now. He's, I've literally never seen him ride this bike. Yes, you have. We went to... Once I've seen him ride a bike. Once I've seen him ride a bike. We've been together for eight years. I was doing laps around you in that thing. Eight yeah. years we rode one bike. Well, mm -hmm. where's your bike? It's gone. You gave yeah, it. I gave it away to someone who was going to use it. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you cool to go to the gym? Mm -hmm. Yes, why is it eleven? Yeah. I'm just probably need to leave here by ten thirty, which you've got plenty of time. sure the diaper bag is ready like at all times just in case just to make it easier when we're going somewhere since I do take her out a lot at least every day she's she goes out um, so just want to make sure it's ready and I know that we don't have a passy in here passy bottle but I use the um, bottles of pre-made formula when we're on the go. It just makes it so much easier. And then I also have this for if I wanted to like take this um, with the powder formula in it, but we pretty much just use the bottle formula whenever we're out and about. It just makes it a lot easier. And yeah, that's pretty much packed up now. I also got this little musical travel bar activity thing that I want to put on her car seat. Let's see how to get this out of here. Oh, it's so cute. She loves going out and about, so this is going to be perfect. Just to give her a little bit of something to do. I think she's really gonna like this and then I can put it like down here in front of her which probably be perfect for in the car and it like does little songs and noises how cute it has like the little crinkles and then these that she can pull on and a little mirror a little noise maker this thing does little songs and then this is just like different textures and stuff. So, how sweet is this? I'm so excited that we're at this point. It is like so much fun and brings me so much joy to like get her little toys and things that she really likes. Um, Cause for a while when they're like super little, they don't really, they don't really see well and they don't play with really anything. Um, but now that she's like playing with stuff, it's just so fun. So I'm going to go upstairs now, finally, um, and see if she's awake. And I'm going to also just get a little bit ready for the day. Hello. Are you taking a nap? Are you the sweetest girl? this stuff because we got milk all kinds of stuff dog hair anything you can imagine on this bed right now got random cloths random everything
She's just in her bouncy seat down here. So I just fed her and she'll probably be awake for like another hour. So I might have Andy like put her down for a nap as I'm going to Pilates. Hi, you like that? You like that idea? The one thing that's been hard is like actual structured naps. We definitely don't have her on like a real nap schedule. She just like, she'll contact nap and sometimes she'll nap like in her crib if we like make a point to come up here and put her in it. So we're just gonna have to see. But honestly, a lot of times during nap time, like most of the time I would say that we're out and about. So she's like napping in the stroller and like that sort of thing which is really nice that she's able to be such a good little passenger. She she loves her car seat and the stroller. She loves going on rides in the car. She's really good. It's really fun now because she'll be awake while I'm like in Target and stuff and she'll just be looking around everything and it's just really cute. Hi, you're just a happy baby. Yeah, I'm just a happy girl. Well, that's really really good that she just loves like being out and about like occasionally she'll start getting mad like if um we're in stuck in traffic or something she hates that she does not like when the car stops moving it's so funny she just starts freaking out and then once we start moving again she's cool she's a character aren't you you're a character she has got such a big personality it's so fun to see how much she's changed and grown. I can't believe she's three and a half months old, like the time. Now it seems like the time is flying, like now that I'm more like out of the funk and the fog of everything. And it's just nice because she'll just be pretty happy like playing while I kind of get stuff done. And then she's so fun to just play with on her mat and just like watch her you love playing on your mat, don't you? She's at a point now where she's like putting everything in her mouth. So she's like chewing on her burp cloth right now, but at least I know it's clean. What are you doing over there? You having fun? Hopefully this Pilates class is not as hard as the last one because I've only been, this will only be my second class back. Um, I went to one last week and it was very hard like for a level one class it was super hard um so we'll see how today goes but should be a little bit easier since it's my second one and i'm feeling pretty good today so we shall see we shall see right we shall see we shall see okay let's see what should we wear today Whoa! <laughs> what do you want to wear today, huh? We actually decided to go for the Mets shirt since they're playing today. And you've never worn this shirt before, but now it finally fits. <gasps> and it's so pretty on you. <laughs> yeah, it's so pretty on you. <laughs> Yay! Since she's so happy playing right now, I'm just going to go through some of her clothes right now. Ah! I know, you're so big. We got to go through your clothes. I know it's crazy so I'm gonna go through all of the zero to three because I think most of the stuff up here doesn't fit her anymore um so we're gonna go through that and then I've really just been having her in like onesies a lot more than just sleepers because it's been getting warmer and she sleeps in the baby Merlin sleep sack right your baby Merlin sleep suit mm -hmm. yes and that you just kind of want to put her in a onesie since it's thick so um, yeah, I know that some of this stuff fits her, like these bamboo, well, I don't even know if they're bamboo, but they're really, really soft. They're from Amazon and we have like four of them, I think. These are going to fit her for quite a while because they don't have the feet on the bottom and they are just super stretchy. So I'm going to keep these and then, um, let's see what else do we have. So this one is so, so, so cute. It's um, a magnetic one, and she's only worn it once because the magnets honestly don't work that good. Um, they just kind of come open. So, yeah. This was, like, one of the cutest little outfits, and she wore it, like, once. But that's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, I have a friend who is having a girl in September, and I'm going to let her look through 
um, Lila's clothes and kind of pick out things that she might want to keep. Let's see, is this, uh, this might fit you since it's so stretchy, right? One of my favorite brands is this one. It's, um, I've always found it at TJ Maxx. It's called Little Me and it's like that bamboo, super stretchy material that fits them for a long time since it is so stretchy. I'm so torn because like right now, I feel like I just wanna have one baby um, because postpartum, not gonna lie, has been way harder than I even thought it would be. Um, so I'm kind of like, scared to do this again um but i feel bad like getting rid of a bunch of stuff because what if i change my mind you know um but i also just need to be realistic and know that a lot of women do change their minds and i could have another baby four or five years from now if i want to um so we'll just have to see but Right now, certainly not thinking about that. Certainly not thinking about that anytime soon, right, girl? Okay, you want to show them? You want to show? Okay. <gasps> look at how sweet you look. <gasps> look at that baby. <gasps> you got your Mets shirt. You say, let's go Mets. Let's go Mets. Yeah, let's go Mets. Yay. I'm just share. Oh. I know, I know, I can't believe it just happened either. Um, just the reality of baby life. <laughs> she just spit up all over me and all over her, so we're probably gonna have to change her shirt that we just, you know, got so excited about because it was so cute. Literally one second after I turned the camera off. Yeah, just, just had to keep it real with you guys. Today, so today is Sunday. Just doing my coffee again in the same mug. So I think yesterday the last thing I vlogged was getting ready to go to Pilates. So I went to Pilates. It was such a good class. Um, I'm just so glad I'm back and doing club Pilates. I had tried that other Pilates studio that's like a local business and it was fine, but it just, I really like the way Club Pilates works and Spot's eating post food, so hold on. Hey, that's not for you. That's another thing. The dogs are like very um, anxious in the new house. They haven't gotten used to it yet, which makes sense. Um, they both like have dog anxiety anyway, so they take medicine for it, but. It's been hard for them, um, so hopefully in the next few weeks they'll be, you know, more adjusted and be eating their food at the right time and all that stuff. But yeah, Pilates was awesome. And then we went to lunch, me and Andy and Lila. We tried out this place called Dave's Hot Chicken. Um, it was just like overpriced Zaxby's to me, so probably won't go back, but it was fine. And then we went to Target and got a couple things for um, Target Circle Week. And then came home and did so much work around the house. Like the garage is so cleaned up now. We finished the nursery for the most part um, because my parents came over and helped us with everything. So that was super awesome. Um, my dad put blinds up for us downstairs and we're just waiting for the upstairs blinds to come in the mail. So now we have blinds, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, it just feels more homey in here when you have blinds at night and you're not like feeling like people are watching you even though nobody is even around us right now. We're the first people to move in on this street, but still. So feeling pretty good today. I got up and got ready. Lila should be waking up any minute because it's almost nine o'clock. So she'll probably be up soon. And then I think we're gonna feed her and then maybe go to the farmer's market and go on like a family walk. So that'll be really nice. And I'm actually wearing 
one of my maternity dresses, which I feel like you wouldn't know it's a maternity dress, so it's fine. It's just super comfy and it's a good length and it's from Target. And honestly, their maternity clothes are so cute. Like, I feel like you can totally get away with wearing them, if, even if you're not pregnant. So another thing I would love to do today or just one day this week is go to Home Goods and get some new cushions for our outdoor furniture because the ones I have now are just like a waterproof um, cover and they're way too big so they kind of look like they're just like really loose on the seat. So I'm hoping to go to Home Goods this week. So I just measured and that way I can find the right size cushions at Home Goods. Now I think I hear the baby. So I'm gonna go get her. girl are you up for the day go get some milk downstairs uh -huh. okay a little okay. moment for the outfit how cute how cute 